ready to tip. And Bede is going to have his hands full here today because Clint Capella, he'll be coming off three consecutive double-doubles. Look, Clint Capella at 6'10 is one of the quickest from basket-to-basket -basket players that we have in the league. This is going to put a lot of pressure on MB in the transition defense. Bogdanovich knocks down his first touch. Still trying to find his shooting rhythm. He's a big piece for the Hawks. Okay, this guy can shoot the ball. He's, he doesn't hesitate at all. He matches Trey Young in regards to how many attempts and how many makes in the three game. Boy, Simmons with a slick finish inside with on his first three-point attempt. Trey Young, a 34% three-point shooter during the regular season. Simmons on the blow by and another slick finish inside. In area, he can finish at 6'10", and then also he can make the play in traffic. Coming off his third career playoff triple-double, Bogdanovich again hits nothing but net. Well, this guy can shoot it. He sh and Tobias Harris back at the over. Tobias Harris averaging 25 points and 10 rebounds in the playoffs so far. Having a career season under Doc Rivers and on cue, knocks down the jumper. Well, you're right on it. Harris has had a great year. His first field goal attempt. And Simmons back quickly the other way. It's going to be interesting to see as Embiid knocks down the three, how much they miss Hunter. Now, if you watch that, Capella was below the foul line and gave Embiid that shot because he had to stop the dribbler to make the pass. Capella picks up the loose chain, going to be able to play today. You know that he loves to shoot beyond the three-point line. He's got the mid-range ball away, and then, like we said, just don't foul him because he, he's going to shoot two and make them. Nice little two-man game between Trice had a, a solid career in Atlanta. You know, before all of the talent arrived, he was the main gun up front. Seth Curry continuing his hot shooting, going back to the previous game against Washington, knocks down the mid-range jump shot. He had a 30-piece as Trey Young. Nobody in the NBA, Hubie, this year made more floaters than Trey Young. Hawks leading by a point. Young gets it back. Back out to Collins. Boy, what a great find. And Collins converts. Now, twice Young's been on the baseline. He found the three-point guy. And the main thing is, is that's great for the Hawk perimeter people, wing people, because they're going to get open looks. There's a nice pass by Embiid, and they converted the other end. Seth Curry, good passing so far, Coach. You're right on it, Mark. Hey, come on, coaches are happy. <laughs> hey, the double team is coming, the pass is there, and then they're not only getting the shot, but they're making it. Just the way you draw it up, Simmons couldn't thread the needle, had it turned over. Collins up to Bogdanovich, one more hill, side pocket three is pure. When you play Atlanta now, now that they're healthy in the second half of the season, they are loaded with nine to ten players. Nine guys during the season average double figures for the Atlanta Hawks. And Bede with an easy slam inside, showing no ill -reason against Harris. Back out top to Young, a little two-man basketball, Young on green. There's that floater again, and he connects again. He is deadly and lethal with that shot. Now, how can interception of a lazy pass at the Philadelphia end of the floor? Atlanta can play the passing lanes as well as anyone. A Nate McMillan coach team is always going to play very good defense. Young with another floater. Well, let's call it a pass to Capella. He's got six. From where the foul one? Tobias Harris couldn't get the layup to go, and Bogdanovich back the other way for the Atlanta Hawks. These teams have identical records since March the 2nd as Bogdanovich knocks down his third field goal. These two teams have the best. Has done such a wonderful coaching job with him. He's made him shore up the turnovers and make the correct play. Here he goes from deep, and on cue, Trey Young with a three ball. Lisa has more. Yeah, Mark. Well, as you know, ball to Dominique Wilkins. But, he said, <laughs> but what makes him such a great passer is that he is a great scorer, that he knows that there's so much attention on him. And to try to take the ball out of his hands or to trap him, the fact that he's still finding guys wide open, Doc said, is just amazing. Yeah, and I think that Trey Young, Lisa, is going to probably eclipse Doc's assist record. Maybe by the end. Well, pretty soon. <laughs> Back out to Curry. A little long two off the dribble. Impressive. 
Seth Curry with four. Look, he's had a solid year. He's had an excellent shooter behind the line as the mid-range stop and, stop and jump shot. Young, let's go again, and it's nothing but cord. Look, this guy is now five for seven, two for four. Bunch of subs into the ball game. Kevin Herter fires away. He shot the ball incredibly accurately in that series against the New York Knicks. Tony Snell also in the ball game for the Atlanta Hawks, as well as Onyeka Okwankwu. Well, they keep coming with six, five, six, 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 seven guys on the wing. <laughs> they have an abundance of these yeah. guys. Not to mention Cam Reddish That's right. injured. Tyrese Maxey to the hole gets the layup. Well, when he gets in the minutes, he's delivering. Down at the end of the season, as well as in that first round of the playoffs. He, he will attempt every time to get into the paint. Yeah, Doc Rivers has gone to him rather than Shake Milton in ball games of late. A herder on the baseline, nice turnaround move, and gets his first field goal. Now, if you notice now, Atlanta is just killing Philadelphia in Philadelphia's defensive painted area. They're getting whatever they want. Yeah, the Hawks shooting 75% against the NBA's number two rated defense so far. Feibel, known as a defender, laces that three. Philadelphia coaching staff happy because the young man is a great defender. Sometimes he'll pass up shots. What you hope is that he'll play with a lot of confidence in those catch and shoots that play. Tony Snell has that three ball rim out. George Hill across the midcourt line. Staring down Lou Williams, who's come into the ball game as well. Maxie swings around to Curry, working against Snell. Now Gallinari guards him on the switch. Nice. nice. Fantastic ball movement. Maxi couldn't cash, and Gallinari back the other way. Right. Ball movement was excellent. Wide open shot. Gallinari with a little step through, draws the foul on the play. Danilo Gallinari has not shot well in the playoffs yet. Well, game two of the Milwaukee Bucks and Brooklyn Nets series continues tomorrow with two-time MVP Giannis Antetokounmpo facing one of the most dynamic offensive teams in league history at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. And a lot of questions abound regarding the health and fitness of James Harden. But regardless, last night, Brooklyn got it done, Hubie. Yeah, but I think the coaching staff...